Hello, good morning. Um, for this human body tutorial, we are going to start working on the teeth. Um, this guy has not seen the dentist yet, so they're not pearly white, kind of like uh, Cheeto yellow, um, but it's all good. These are um, images I found online, and this particular image is not of our subject's mouth, but it does show me the better image, or better view of them from the side view. All of these image planes, I uh, made sure that they were the right size, so let me go to my side view and show you this polygon plane. So this polygon plane, I'm just changing the vertices and I'm going to duplicate it and show you that each one of these images are roughly about the same size All right. so if I take that same polygon plane and then move it over here it's very close to that person's tooth tooth size and same thing uh, for the the bottom teeth. Right, so I don't really have another reference image for um, this, but I use the front tooth to keep these two image planes uh, the same size. And then I have uh, this image, so let me take this particular polygon plane and scale it down a little bit. Alright, so it reaches a gum line. And then duplicate it and move it over here and this is going to match that tooth size so then I'm not working from different uh, images if you want a lot of detail then this particular image I found on Google uh, shows you what the back of the tooth looks like we're going to focus primarily on the front of the tooth so let's get started um, this is polygon plane let me go into the attribute editor um, for most of you guys, you can go in the channel box editor into the inputs and then change the subdivision width and height. For me, it crashes every time I do that, so I'm going to change the subdivision um, width and height to 3. And the reason why it's doing this weird thing is because I scale the polygon plane before I, um, uh, before I added the width, so I'm just going to I'm not going to worry about it because I have to change the vertices on here anyways. So I'll start to move these guys into place. I can press 4 so I can see it in wireframe. It's a little bit easier. I'll take this vertex here. I'll select all these vertices. Press R to scale them wide. I'll scale these a little bit wider. I'll kind of move them into place. The bottom um, edge of the vertex. I want it to be round, so I'm moving it like this, and then I move this here, I move that guy in, and then we're going to add another edge loop to this anyway, so there's a huge gap between the front of this tooth. So when I press 5 and then press 3, you see it's starting to smooth out a little more, but I got this little sharp edge here, so I move it down like that. I take these two guys and move them over, move this one over a little bit more, and try to get rid of that sharp edge. Okay, take this kind of selection, move it over like that, and I'll add another edge loop. So with it. Mesh tools, enter edge loop option box, and go to relative distance from edge. Close that. And then I'll click right down the center. And I'll press 4 to go into the wireframe. And just move that bottom vertex edge up. Press 3, and there we go. That's our tooth. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate it in object mode, control D, move it to the left, 
and I'll press R to scale it down. Get the gum line to match. Press W. And then start to move some of these vertices around. If I press 4, it's a little bit easier for me to see what I'm doing. Okay. Move that up. I don't know the names of the tooth, so it's all good. I'll call these a uh, chomper tube. I probably got like a. They do have a scientific term, medical term, whatever. I don't know it. It's all good. And how to model it, that's all that matters. Um, let's see. Alright, that looks good. That tooth is complete, but I'm going to go into my top view. Press F to frame in, and then move this guy back. Press E to rotate it. And later we're going to add thickness to the teeth. And yeah, so let's keep moving forward. I'm going to take the original tooth, the one in the front, press Control D, move it to the left, and then press R to scale it like this. So now, this is the reason why I brought in this image, because I can actually see what that third tooth looks like from the side view. So I'm going to move this to that image. So one, two, three, this is the third one. And kind of match it to the gum line. Go to vertex mode. You can press 1 if you want to, um, to go into this lower level of detail and match the image. So these are like the corners, are like the round part of the tooth. I'll do this. I'll press 3. And I'll press 4 to see how close it matches the tooth. And I want to get rid of like that little sharp point there, so I'll take that vertex, move it over, this vertex, move it over, take that one, move it down, and there we go. Looks good. Press 5, go to object mode, click on this guy, and I'll press Control D. Move it over. I'll press R to scale it down. Go to vertex. And repeat the same exact steps that I did with the other two teeth. So if this bores you, then you can definitely um, fast forward to another spot in this tutorial. So, try to work as fast as I can. Okay, that looks good. Next one. Again, I'll just press 4 to see how close it matches the image. Okay. And you don't have to be as like detail-orientated as I am. I'm just trying to get as close as I can and still work on speed. Control D, smooth silver. And I'm not liking that little edge. Okay. Press R to scale it down. I'll press 5 real quick. And move this over. Move that over. Okay, almost there. Just like that. And then take this one, object mode, control D, move it over. And I'm going to scale it down like this. And I'll press Control D again. I'll press R, scale this one down a little bit more. 
and then I'll match the outside edges. Like this. And what I'm going to do is actually combine the two. Let me press one so I could see what those vertices are doing. Um, okay. And then I'll click on this guy, press one. Go to the vertex. Move this up. Um, it's like this guy, move it up here. Like that. And then I'll click on both of these in object mode. Go to mesh combine. And then I'll select both of these vertices and then go to edit mesh, merge to center. I'll select those two, press G, which means repeat previous command, and I'll stop right there. And then select these two and press G. All right. Now, I probably want to add another edge loop right here. So, object mode, right mouse, let's go to edit mesh, insert, Sorry, mesh tool, then to edge loop, and I'll put one right there. I'll press three, I'll press four, go back into vertex mode, and make sure that everything looks pretty solid. Make sure that they kind of touch a little bit right there. And I think, I think, I think I'm finished. We're going to come back and add all the detail in the teeth later. But for now, we're just kind of getting the basic shape. We're going to rotate the teeth, all that good stuff. And I can't see that last tooth. I'll just duplicate it, move it over. And I will guess right here. Probably should have done a little bit more research. Got another image. But you know what? I think my other image plane, I have that reference. Uh, maybe? I think that's it. Let's go to object mode. Take that tooth and bring it all the way over here. And this is actually the bottom row of your teeth. I'm not for sure if it's a, the teeth size are actually a little bit different. You can see the bottom row of your teeth look totally different than the top row of your teeth. But you know what? I don't care right now. <laughs> um, that's the third, second molar. And there's a third molar, which I'm assuming are your wisdom teeth. I press five. I know that this um, image plane is not in the same direction as my teeth, so I'm actually going to select the image plane. And before I work go any further, I'm just going to save my scene. I'll take the image plane and change the scale x to negative value. And what I just did is rotate that so my molar can match this image a little closer all right so now i'll just take these vertices i'll press one actually i'll just press three i'm just going to grab larger groups of vertices so before i was grabbing two and now i'm grabbing four because i did add an uh, extra edge loop to this we're not worried about the um, the root of the tooth because this isn't for any sort of um, dental this, I'm not like modeling this for dental purposes it's going to go in our character's mouth and we're going to create gums for our character anyway so it's not a big deal Oops. grab these two, move them up grab those guys let's do this I'll grab those two, move them over, and 
like the center of the teeth. I just want to make sure it's got really nice edge flow. Um, not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. But I am happy with that. So I'll go to object mode, click on this guy, bring him over, and that's my last molar. I'll press 4, I mean R, to scale it down so it's like that size. And scale it a little bit. All right. So we have all of our teeth. And I'll press W, move this into place. Um, this tooth here is a little bit sharper in our character's mouth. So I'll just select that vertex, bring it down a little bit. And just like we did with the other teeth, we have to rotate these guys and put them into position. So uh, let's do that. I'm going to move this back, rotate it like that. And then after that third tooth, you can see in our reference image here. So one, two, three. It's these four teeth start to rotate back a little bit and become so kind of at an angle in your mouth. You see it kind of at an angle. So I'll take this one, I'll move it like right there, go to the top view, I'll move it here, I'll rotate it. Rotate even more. Like that. Just want to make sure that I press four. This is the fourth one. I'll rotate even more. And this guy press three, rotate it more. more. So my top view looks a little sloppy right now. I'll move this guy back like this. And this one here, I'll move him back like that. And right now, again, it's just a flat plane. We're going to curve it to get like that, that shape. Press five. I'll go to vertex mode and then kind of get that a bit sharper. And then I'll select the last three teeth. And I'll go to my top view. I want to see what my front view looks like as well. So I'll push these guys back. I'll select that tooth, I'll zoom in closer here in my front view, press 4 so I can see what I'm looking at, I'll rotate it, I'll press W, move it back here, move it up, so there's a little bit of separation between the teeth, okay, the next molar, move it up, move it over, and right now they're probably sitting right next to each other, like side by side. And then I'll rotate it back a little more. Like this. And move it here. And then last but not least, final molar. Press E, rotate it and put it right there okay so that's just creating the basic shape of of the tooth and then you can always um, duplicate one side and move it over to the right um, if you wanted to add all of that detail in it i would you know recommend uh, exporting it into mudbox but I'm just going to stop right here, and in the next tutorial, uh, we'll add more shape and volume to the tooth. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if it's helped you out. Thank you very much.